Good morning, Lena Scott. Welcome back to the lighthouse. So, guys, I wasn't even going to do one today. Uh, my whole household is sick. But the only way anybody apparently could get no sleep was if I left for a while. So, I came back to my place. And um, I got a message the other day. Um, we were coming back from Nevada. And I heard as clear as a bell in my head. Some will get downloads of information for future use. And... Um, Ever since they told me that, when I was, um, anytime I get a thought in my head that is not something I would think myself, it's always a message from my angels and ancestors, and I actually kind of put something together as we were coming back from Nevada, I actually realized that some of the things I hear in my head, or when the angels, when my ears ring, if I don't get the message right away, later when that pops into my head, that's usually what they told me, okay, so the past two days, um, I have, my ears have been ringing like crazy, and then I've been getting all these little just isolated thoughts coming from the angels, the ancestors, just spirit in the universe talking to me. And um, I, like I said, I wasn't even going to do anything today because my household is sick. My cats aren't as active as they normally are. Daniel's been running a fever. He's either, um, everybody else around us has gotten sick. I haven't gotten sick yet, but I have been very successful in quitting smoking so far. I haven't smoked a cigarette in, um, oh my God, in the past two weeks, I think I've had three cigarettes. So guys, can you congratulate me on that? Um, I'm taking my Chantix and I'm doing real well. But anyway, so my ears have been ringing a lot and I am just been getting all these little messages. And when you're not feeling a hundred percent, you know, it's, it's, um, all you can do is just listen <laughs> and take in the messages and wait till you feel better to do something. So I thought since I had to come home, I uploaded a couple of, um, messages from the angel deck and because they told me that thing on the way back from nevada the other day that's what i'm going to do this little reading on and we're just going to see what it turns into because sometimes they tell me things and it the message in the cards turns out to, to it develops into something much bigger so the two cards uh, they actually pulled the cards um they they always i can always just feel which cards that i'm being pulled to pull um or pulled um to and this morning it, it was the uh star seed deck and the um, Denise Lim tra Time Traveler and uh, Keith Kyle's Gateway and, and Light Activation cards. Um, and they actually gave them to me in a specific order. So the first thing I'm going to do is shuffle these um, Starseed cards. Because I haven't really worked with this deck a lot. Um, I'm feeling like it's, I need to work with one of the decks that isn't. And so this is one of the first ones they, they were saying Starseed, Starseed. So this is the one I pulled. So if nothing falls out, um, I love jumpers. To me, it's just, that's just the divine talking in its own way to me. But if nothing jumps out, I'm going to shuffle them the regular way and see what's on top and on bottom. Um, nothing's jumping out right away. A couple of them jumped out earlier, but way too many of them. So I don't know if they were trying to get me to pull a whole bunch. I just go with, with whatever feels right at that second, at that moment, okay? So just bear with me. Um, it doesn't feel like anything's going to pop out. And so let me, let me shuffle them and see what's on the top and what's on the bottom. Um, let's see, on the split right here, we got the Great Severing, Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict, Softening is Love, and Child of the Cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So this feels like information, the, the, the some kind of information coming in for some people for future use, because the universe, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. So I'm going to take that, and then I'm going to take this... Um, the Great Severing, Mars Energy, Anger, Conflict. So this may feel like something, this, see all the red in this card? This feels like maybe something, and look, this looks like some kind of a creature up here. Maybe the universe coming in with a big message or a bunch of angels coming in. So I'm going to take that. Um, and then I'm going to shuffle them here and see what else comes. So... All of us are children of the cosmos, okay? All the intelligence of the universe lies within you. It lies within all of us because all of us are part of the universe. We're all part of Earth. We're from the Earth. We're uh, from the heavens. We're all we're all connected, and all the planets are all connected. Everything is all connected by invisible energy, okay? So maybe some of you are realizing that you're more divine than you think you are, and you're letting go of some of the things of that are limiting and in being inside a human body, okay? And you're embodying that, being part of the universe. And so maybe that's what some of the messages are that are coming in for some of us, okay? That is, um, that it's just wait, the universe is just waiting for you to discover that. Jump in, um, Andromeda Energy Adventure. Say yes to the change. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Um, 
that kind of makes sense too, guys. So let me shuffle a couple more times here, and then we're going to cut the deck and see what's on the bottom and what's on the top. How many times? Okay. So on the bottom, I remember Soul Plan, the Faded Life versus the Destiny Life. So that, again, guys, I've told y'all before, this always feels to me of making a decision that you know is the best, truest thing for you, and then the destiny that follows is your true path, you know, of something that you feel that no matter what somebody else tells you, feels like that's what's right for you, right? And so then, a new earth, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. So this feels like to me, letting go of some things that no longer are serving you, right? Remembering your soul's path, making the choice, even if it's a hard choice, feeling it inside of you, and then once you accept that, waiting for the universe to bring all of, what are they saying? Bringing all of its glory to you. Holding the vision, keeping the vision that everything in the universe is going to be open to you is what I'm hearing. Wow, that's pretty powerful, guys. That is pretty powerful. Look at all these beautiful blues and pinks and um, these are sort of feeling like universal colors. I'm seeing... This brown here and this teal and this blue of the sky is jumping out at me. Okay. So these feel like being part of the earth, but being part of the universe as well. And remembering where your spirit come from or different past lives even. Maybe even having some um, in your... Having messages come to you while um, meditating, um, grounding... And even though it's just one person here, this feels like a group meditation to me for some reason. I don't know why. But it feels like this is, or even somebody leading a group for some reason. Because this water here is making me just think of everything, or the universe and people in it and everything being connected. Getting messages from the divine coming all the way through you. Also, maybe some of you are being called to do some kind of... Um, Getting, some, I'm hearing water babies. Maybe this is some Piscean. And maybe some of you have some Piscean in you. Maybe this is for some Pisces. Also, maybe some um, Earth signs. Being grounded and connected. Child of the Cosmos. Getting a Cosmos. Getting messages. Okay, let me pull a main. See about getting a main energy here. Um, what kind of energy is surrounding all this? Uh, the cards are sticking. Um, what kind of energy is this? Stillness. Waiting for things to come to pass. Stillness. Zen Monastery, Japan. See how he's in deep meditation here? And just in stillness, he's waiting for the universe. Maybe during the next full moon. I know we just had a full moon. Maybe some of you got some messages during this past full moon. Okay, that have come in for you. That now, maybe this is where this I remember comes from. You're remembering something during a meditation. And you're feeling that it's coming towards you. The changes, whatever you've cut away from. Maybe um, that's where the new life is coming from. The new you. And... I still, and also this, this I remember right here also feels like that some information coming from deep meditations that in the future, you, you're just holding it for right now. And then at a later date, you remember something about a past life or you remember something that jumps, comes forward that in the future, you remember that you forgot it or something like that is what I'm feeling like. feels like something you've forgotten that you suddenly remember. That you that you're just you're holding on to something that pops through in a dream or a meditation. Uh oh, we just had a jumper go off the table. Oh yeah, higher consciousness. Oh wow, higher consciousness. So this feels like something comes in during a meditation that you're not quite aware of yet, but in the future you remember it and it comes back and it's through your higher conscious mind. I'm just gonna assume that makes sense to somebody. What else? So this is higher mind conscious stuff that happens during meditation, in stillness, um, group meditations, purification. That card wanted to jump. Purification. 
See, and you access your higher mind. See, these cards are going right together because this higher conscious mind comes when you do this deep meditation, guys. Um, do you see what I'm saying? When you have this higher conscious mind, when you're meditating, that's when that comes together. Then maybe you remember something, you get purified, and then you're waiting for other things to come in. Of whatever messages you got that you've cleared away from, that your your this information comes forward at a later date that helps with this feeling of new earth, of new connected to earth. Um soul awakening, I'm hearing. Soul awakening. So maybe that's some another another level of higher conscious mind that happens. Doing some kind of deep meditation. And getting rid of um something that's just no longer serving you. Which causes growth. Oh, wow. Which causes growth and then transcending. Wow. Transcending things on the earthly plane, I'm hearing. Um, let me pull some runes, guys. Um, let me pull some runes. Let me pull some of the green ones. Um... Take this how this comes in for you guys. This feels like it's talking about maybe a group of you going through different... And, and you could be anywhere on this timeline, guys. I say that all the time, okay? But higher conscious mind, purification, and major growth afterwards. So this feels like soul growth. Not, and, uh, may, uh, not jumping timelines. I'm trying to put a word to it, guys. I guess this is what they're talking about all together, all around. Some type of transcending... Because this is the end result here. This is at the bottom of the whole reading. So let me pull some runes. Um, it feels like one sticking to my hand. Which one is this one? Yep. Making the wheel turn in your favor. Protection. Jumping into the future. It feels like there's like three or four at the bottom. I'm just going to grab and do a drop reading and see how I come up. Okay. Rewards for efforts. Jeez, guys, just about every single one of them came up. Rewards for efforts. Let me see how this how this is reading. Gate, gift, microchism, macrochism, opening up. Success. That feels like that's at the end. Okay, so the way I'm reading this, guys, is rewards for efforts. Okay. Standing at some type of gateway, looking back over your shoulder, realizing you're no longer who you used to be. You're now in partnership with the divine. You're on your path. Or you're more on your path. Or more things have come to being on your path. Okay. Microchism to macrochism. Also there's joy in there. The joy rune is also in there. So realizing something that you did not know. That information coming to light. Okay. Opening up. Opening up. Uh, inner inner knowledge. Inner, inner, um, inner knowledge. Um, doorways opening up. And at the bottom of that, besides the success, is signs and synchronicities. Paying attention in ways you didn't pay attention before. Okay? So some of you are going to get some of these messages. So this is that, this is that, this, this is going to end up, see, okay. So the success rune feels like, because that's the ending of it. So that's that transcending. So it feels like over the next month or two, especially by the next new moon, okay? And that's going to be, we're going to be shifting back into Capricorn. That's when this stillness is going to happen, okay? So guys, over this next month to two months, this is something that's going to play out for some of you. Okay, and these two runes are just bare. So let me see. Some kind of transcending over the next month. And then it feels like this, this, it could be one, it actually could be within the next two full moons, guys. We could look at this as a full moon, but this makes me think of the earth. This one here, this, um, a new earth. So some kind of, this is, like I said, this just feels like some of this information coming in on some kind of a level for some of you that 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 creates during a higher conscious moment that creates this purification purification major growth and you end up transcending in some sort of way okay and that's where that information comes in and it's some kind of acknowledgement that you something that you're holding within that comes out that helps you to tr transcend in some sort of way okay this also kind of feels like a little bit of toth energy because of this atlantis card which is the transcending card guys is that not a beautiful card see and they're like paying attention now to all this information all this stuff coming in okay 
ending up with a lot of success and wholeness. If not even success or going towards success, this is wholeness. This is the spiritual warrior having gained some kind of knowledge that makes him more whole. Okay? Or sh her, him or her. I just say he just for general purposes, guys. But I probably should say um, for the spiritual warrior and just not even put a he or she to it. Okay, what else? Is there anything else? What? Okay, let me ask a question in specific. So, once they do this transcending, in what way? Actually, okay, what kind of gateway or doorway may open up for those that this that this is reading is whoever I'm reading for? What kind? Of, any kind of a doorway open up, or how should they use this information? Or what else do you want to tell them? angelic angelic frequency angels are here you are safe potent connection so when you do this transcending it feels like your angels are going to be right there with you okay and it feels like that they're going to be it feels like they're going to be waiting for you to um get this information in some sort of way okay and then we've got this um well one just jumped out but then we've also got this partnership with the divine okay and your gifts, oh, this one card fell out, what is this one? <sighs> Chamber of the Violent Flame, karmic release, radical transformation. So again, this feels like transcending, okay, and the angels being there to guide you. And having this, some kind of transformation after this transcending. So this feels like another level of spiritual awakening with this information that comes in, or something that you just didn't realize before. Serious star blessing. Yes, proceed. Be seen. Push through. So, and here's that symbol again, guys. So they're wanting you to use this knowledge in some, some sort of way. Inner discovery, facing sacredness. You are what you seek. So this feels like some kind of major breakthrough, okay? That some of you, with, again, with this transcending card, guys, this feels like this information that comes through in the future. It, it, it's in your subconscious, and you, during comes some kind of moment of stillness, it comes into your higher conscious mind, and then it comes down into your conscious mind, is what this feels like. With the, Also with this purification, and then the growth. So, um, take this however this comes in for you. Okay, but I feel like this is a lot of you that are in some sort of way are going to be the spiritual leaders of the future is what I'm feeling. And it just feels like this is a lot of that higher conscious stuff coming in with that the angels and, and, and uh, ancestors have been guiding us towards for quite a while now. This feels like more of this Pluto going into Aquarius um, or being more prepared and having this information that in the future is going to come back to you that, that you're just holding in some sort of way that you're going to remember. Okay, so guys, take this, how this comes in, how it resonates for you. It's not going to resonate for everybody, but I do feel like a lot of you are getting the signs and synchronicities that are guiding you this way. So take it however some of you might even can take some of this information from this reading and put it to work for you in some sort of way. Maybe gear your meditations towards getting um, information to come up to your, you know, through, from your higher conscious mind, from the divinity through your higher conscious mind and into your conscious mind to help you transcend and purify. Okay? Maybe some of you getting this can take this this information from this reading and make it work for you in some sort of way because um, it just does feel like it's something you have to work towards but it feels like you're going to remember it too because of that i remember card okay so maybe deepen your meditations a little bit maybe make your um maybe even find another way to meditate guys there's all kind of meditation stuff on youtube okay so this is what i have for y'all um this was just a spontaneous reading from that what they were telling me the other day i hope this helps somebody guys I'm so excited about the future and the things that are going to come for us. Lighthouse.